Hello guys and welcome back to another Rig Rundown episode brought to you by Bendix. Now today's episode, we've got a car, something I've been looking for for a while and it's to prove a point. You don't need to buy a 79, you don't need to spend a million bucks to have everything you need with you to take forward driving. I love that this thing has different coloured panels and all sorts, so let's get straight into having a look at this Hilux. All right, so we got uh, Vance here. I keep wanting to say Lance, but I'm thinking Vance Joy. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, it. he's coming down from Bundy today. We're down at DI. We're gonna go through a look through this highlight. So before we even get diving right into it, so just tell us what year it is. Um, uh, it's make a, a model. 92 um, LN106 to yep. the highlight. Yeah, sweet. All yeah, right, yeah. cool. We'll start with the front end and we'll sort of work our way back as usual. Then we'll go through interior and canopy. Um, so what we got on the front, is this a standard sort of Hilux bar, is it? Yeah, it's like a TGM or ARB yep, yep. front bar on Steel it. Steel yeah. bar, if you want to get a winch bar. in there. Yeah, uh, it's a 13,000 pound. Yep. Some yep. ARB ripoff eBay lights. Yep. They have all the lights on at eBay anyways. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they work. That's yeah, all you need. Yeah. yeah, you can see about a K. Yep, yep. So yeah. Ah, um, sweet. What's the winch, winch in there? Yep. Just an eBay, I don't know. Cheapest. Full shopping list <laughs> off yeah. eBay. I love it. Everything is, well, well, even the we, knockdown. Yeah, well, we've got to ask you why, like with all the colours and different things, is that just sort of some panels were dented? And oh then... yeah, the um, doors got pretty caved in for driving with those yep. sidebars, so yep. <laughs> I wrecked out another Hilux that was red and yep. threw some red doors on it. Yeah, right. Make it look cleaner. Yeah, okay, sweet. Yeah. Alright, we'll spin around. Did you put that scoop on? Nah, I swapped <laughs> a standard bonnet for it. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> yeah, I don't have want. a cooler or anything yep. like that. Yep. So. Yeah. Nah, cool. All right. So, did, were these made like, or did yeah, you buy the, them? Um, the sidebars are off a 105 series. Yep. That was cut down to a Ute, then they'll cut down for a new model Hilux. Yeah. Okay. And I rolled that, and then so I threw them on this. Yep. A little oh, bit of cutting and bending. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you, did you have to change it much? Or? No, no. I just threw a rashi strap around to the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Had to cut a couple inches off because it was too long, and then yep. bolted them on. Yep. Yeah. That's perfect, that's all you need. Um, now, we were going to do sort of an underneath thing, but you're saying the suspension is fairly oh, the, standard. Um, it's all Hilux suspension, yep. but the front's running rears up front, okay. which off a two-wheel drive, and I yep. run 10-inch front shocks. Okay. But then again, they're only Commodore shocks. Yep. Which, yeah, they're all 30 bucks, brand new. And the tyres? Uh, yeah, there's just some 32s, cheapest yep. I could buy. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, it's all keeping it in the budget, yeah. that's what you want. All right, we'll keep going down. These look like some aftermarket mirrors. Yeah, some GU patrol mirrors. Yep. So, How'd you go well, fitting them up? Just a couple yeah, of techies? Oh, no, that's the light bar. <laughs> <laughs> now these actually got proper mounting, oh, but sweet. they just don't suit the door yep, properly, yep. but I never got around to cutting them to shape. But they do but, bolt through, yeah. Yeah, yeah, all the way through, yeah. yeah sweet. Yeah, eBay light bar, couple yeah, that of homemade work. brackets. Looks pretty. <laughs> Functionality, don't worry about yeah. it. You got spotlights, that's all you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, look the part. All right, on the back end, I guess we'll sort of talk about the tray and then we'll get inside what's behind yeah. the doors, but something you built or bought or? Uh, I bought the tray. Yep. Um, and then built the canopy. Yep. Originally it was probably the same height as the tent. Yep. So it's all been cut down at the yeah, okay. bends here, re-welded back on. Yep. And that, yeah. Trimmed down the seat. Yeah. Uh, solar panels up there. Is yeah, that it's a 110 into Kings. Yep. Yeah. Um, Good old King control. Special. Yeah, everything's cheapo. Everything's off it's eBay a, or for like yeah, Super King, Center? Yeah, <laughs> it's got a King's controller box and solar edge yep. in the canopy. Yep. Yeah. Ah, sweet. Also, King's it's got, um, I've just only fitted on the weekend, yep. brand new EFS 300 constants in the rear. Oh yeah, it keeps yeah. it from sagging. It used to and sit that. like two inches lower in yeah. the rear. Yep. But now it sits level. Look at that, it's the shiniest part on it. Look at that. Um, all right, so I guess that's sort of it for external. Do you do much towing or are they just on there for, oh, for looks? Oh, it's got the mirrors, it's got to have the, yeah. yeah. It's got the mirrors, so it's got to have the strap. Um, ba balance yeah. it out, big yeah. flats, big mirrors. <laughs> Couple of spares, a yeah. few different brands going on, that's what you want. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just have BFGs, but they've yeah, got yep. a steak on them. Yep. All right, sweet. All right, we'll spin around. We'll, we'll jump in the awning, I reckon, first, since we're back here and see what's going on in there. Just watch your head. Look at that. Watch your head here. <laughs> Don't worry about a gas strut, it just sits on there. Oh, it was up there, but the f it pulled through the timber, oh, so. I know. Yeah. Righto, pretty... we'll hold it up so we can get in here. Yeah, right. This is a heavy door. <laughs> no, it's all steel, eh? So, yeah. obviously, you've gone the old Super Center drawers again. Yeah. Bit of storage. They were second hand for 100 bucks. Yep. Just cut them in half. Yep. Um, oh, there you go. Yeah, we've got the fridge slide as well. Oh, something that works. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful fridge slide. Nice cold 55 litre. Yep. I've got lights throughout. Yep. So it's got the lights up there and there's oh, yeah, lights 
through there. Um, so is this a pretty a, wide panel? What's that? Yeah, yeah can... the, the Kings, you just buy them. Yep. Comes with everything by the stereo and the solar. Yep. Mount of the stereo, oh, the stereo, mount of the solar. The stereo caught fire, so it don't work no more. <laughs> I love it. It's still wired in, but just don't work. Yep. Oh, that's a bummer. <laughs> but no, everything's on fuses. Yep. Oh, what brand was the fridge again? Uh, that's a giant, I giant think. Giant power, I never heard yeah, of that. Yeah, neither have I. She's got a screen on her butt, looks yeah. good. I only paid 200 bucks. Yep. Yeah. No, there you go. Everything's Do you actually know how much you spent on building the whole thing? Oh, if I count motors, it's a fair bit. But <laughs> <laughs> a few engines in the mix. Yeah, but no. Pretty cheap. Yeah, the suspension would have been easily under a grand. All yeah, up. cool. Yeah, yeah. So, so you want. Yeah. Probably a grand in the canopy. Yep. So, that the dearest good. part was getting the doors bent. Yeah, right. That was there. Uh, she seal her out or gets a bit of water through? Oh, it leaks. Yeah. Worse than a sieve. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yeah, All righty. On the other side, just a bit of storage, eh? Yeah, or? it's just empty. Just empty. Floor, well, yeah. we'll see. Got a bit oh, of a dog got the... box, you throw dirty gear in there. Yeah. We would have the dog, but yep. National Parks, you can't have dogs. Yeah, so. yeah, of course. Yeah. Ah, oh, sweet. So was this all pre-done? Like, if you've no, shrunk... No, I made everything. Yeah. They had no doors on them. Oh, right, so you done So the I doors. made the doors, made weld the mesh on, as yep. you can see. It's not the best welds, but even, they're pretty sturdy. You didn't even paint them. <laughs> oh, they was painted. <laughs> it's coming back off now. Yeah. Bit of salt. Ah, sweet. All right, let's jump inside and have a look at the interior, and then, yeah, go from there. All right, we'll check on the inside. Oh, shh. Sorry, inside. <laughs> I love that. I was half expecting it to be like that. So good. All right. Okay, inside the old Hilux, to be honest, this is, ow, you're squishing my feet. <laughs> this is um, the first time I've been one of these older ones, actually, and to be honest, I'm going to let you in a little secret. When I was younger, probably, for, I would have been like 19, maybe, I actually wanted to get one of these leaf-sprung Hiluxes. So I think it's like one of those models that they did on Top Gear, and they're like yeah, pretty yeah, indestructible. Yeah. So it was a dream to get one of these, so it's pretty sweet to be inside of one. Um, what's changed? Everything. The doors are different colours to the car. So yeah, it's um, got a surf steering wheel. Yeah, that's obviously a different colour. A newer well. model Hilux gauge holder. Yep. That's tech screwed in. Yeah, sweet. Um, you're sitting in a Subaru Outback, a 2000 model. I noticed the seat, seat yeah. Um, so it's a center console out of a surf. Yep. Uh, another midnight job roof console. Yeah, that's what the I did. switches, well, everything like that, charge oh, ports. It's got a bit of gear in here, eh? All the yeah. gauges, got your UHF, some it's charge got, uh, outlets, all your switches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for spotties and that? Yeah, yeah for the, yep. I used to have um, tray lights and yep. rear under lights as well, but yep. on the old tray, but nothing now. Heads up display, speedo. Yeah, yeah, speedo doesn't work. Oh, no, <laughs> you got speedo. that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's got um, full stereo in it as well. Yep. Two amps, big sub. Oh, there you go. Everything like that. So you yeah. blew the one up in the canopy, but this one's good. Yeah, yeah, no, this <laughs> one's pretty good, yeah. No, nah, beauty. All right, well, we'll jump in the engine bay. Probably not much to look at under there, but oh, we'll go through, I guess, yeah. what motors nice. you've been through and that, and then we'll see. Dano airbox, that's oh, about it. There we go. Let's have Just a look. Pop the bonnet on your side there while you're in there. Before the um, knockdown was on, you used to have to sit there. Oh, you've upgraded. Up the... You've <laughs> actually got a bar now. So. Well, before we get into what it is. You've been through a couple of motors, have you? Yeah, this is my fifth motor. Same one? You keep throwing it in? Or? Oh, no, I just keep getting new motors. It's just yeah. easier, cheaper. Yeah, okay. But it's the same one it came out with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, oh so now it is, yeah. So it's I a upgrade little... to a three liter and then yep. went back to a 2.8. Okay, so it's yeah. 2.8, four cylinder? Yeah, yeah. A little turbo on there? Yeah, it's got a TDO4. Yep. Only running eight PSI, but yep. sits on 110 fine. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. It gets up and going. I swapped a, a diff for the um, airbox. Oh, there you go. Made. That is flash. Got... Wheel and dealing as well. <laughs> didn't didn't buy that new. We've got a three inch inlet. Yep. And it's two and a half crossovers. It's yep. just a standard Daco um, manifold and yep. the back part there. Yeah, right. Um, eh? Been through a few radiators in, in its time. Yep. So does it run hot usually? Or? Not anymore, no, yeah, not since this motor's good. been in it, yeah. Yep. Electrical wise, what you added in, does it oh, have you, a You don't want to be looking at them. I can see it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's got a, um, it's a 100 solenoid, amp. Yeah. yeah, 100 amp in the canopy. Yep. Did have a 120, but it cooked itself. Yep. And then so I went to 100 amp, which yep. was cheap at the time. Yep. Um, it's got diff breathers and everything like that. Nice, oh, sweet. Yeah. Um, nice, no, good. You must know every nut and bolt in this thing. You've, yeah. you've been in there, a few motors, <laughs> a few diffs, a couple of gearboxes. Yep, yep. That's yeah. oh, what sweet, you want, eh? Nice, oh, sweet. All right, I think we've pretty much covered most of what's on here. Um, I guess we'll, I'll give this thing a run, like we always do. I'll jump in and have a drive. It's the first time being one of these old Hiluxes. And then we get onto the challenges, and this should be this should be a crack up, this <laughs> one. All righty. Oh, the old door handle again strikes back. 
Time to take this base for a spin. No air conditioned seats. <laughs> no power. Has it got power steering? Yeah, no, it's oh, it's got power steering, steering yeah, settled down. Sure the, um, the handbrake doesn't work. Oh, don't worry about that. Yeah, no, Trucker in gear. <laughs> oh, it is comfy with the old seat. I feel like I'm very far forward, but I'm not going to change the seating position. That's oh, all right. There's a sub behind you. Oh, there you go. That's the same as my car. It's like <laughs> priorities. <laughs> oh, we're down at DI, so super soft sand at the moment. It's a bloody highway down near the water, but um, cruising in, it's like really. Really nice day. Normally you come down here, sometimes it's choppy as there's barely any waves, there's hardly any wind. Beautiful day for a cruise, so man, this thing feels smooth. It's not I was pretty much jumping in, I was thinking this thing's gonna be shaking around everywhere. Oh, no, no. Loose steering. There's got a bit of play in the steering wheel, but just gotta get up to speed a bit. Yeah, it needs another power steering box. Yeah. Steering box I should have got one of these when I was younger. I was gonna buy one. It is like a small 79. That's what it feels like. <laughs> Yeah. Boxy that's old thing. Cool. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I love it when the cars have just the right height, like armrest for the window, just yeah, finger on the steering wheel. To be honest, for, for what it is, I can't really fold today. Like, she's, yeah, she drives it's good. She's been a pretty good full drive. Yeah, like, yeah. You really get stuck. Yep. Oh, yeah. I feel the floor there. Yeah, no, the brakes are a bit heavy, girl. A lot better now that the rear's aren't clamped. Oh, there you go. <laughs> they were clamped off before. <laughs> Let's keep that one quiet. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, well, I think it's time for you to do your challenges. So, pretty unscientific at the moment, but we're really just doing a bit of a, I don't know, I don't even know why I do these things. This thing may not even make it onto leaderboard at all, but like I say, it's just a bit of a uh, way to you know, kind of stack up the different cars we film. A little 100 meter sprint, a bit of a comfort challenge, um, economy and flex, so let's hook into that. Sweet. All righty, for 728, I'm gonna try and talk. 30, I can't do it, 31, 32, we've got Vance, 35, 36, he's ready for his 37, 38 sprint, 9, 40, <laughs> Okay, so we've got Vance doing his sprint, he's lined up, this thing has a little bit underpowered, but he's got a clean run on this sand, it's nice and hard, the tide's down, so he's going to go full drive, we'll see what happens. Where are we at? 74. 74. 78, 78, 78. 100 meter sprint, uh, got in full drive, you get a bit more grip. 100 Sam steps right there. Danger zone, no camping. No, look at that. Is it just to where you guys are? That's the finish line. I don't stop here, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, oh. <laughs> no, 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 I come to a stop at the line, wasn't it? Oh, through the line. <laughs> Alrighty, in three, two, one. Yeah. Look at the soot! Yeah. I'm covered in black dust right now. It's predictable. 863. 863. Like we say, sevens is good. Sixes is amazing. Eight's somewhere in the ballpark. Hopefully he's on the leaderboard somewhere. We we'll see how we feel about that. How'd that go? Yeah, that was alright. <laughs> I saw the soot coming out like a bloody <laughs> machine. <laughs> Goes nowhere, it's just all soot. Yeah, no, I should feel good, but. Oh yeah, it goes pretty hard. That was an 8.63. So somewhere down the bottom. Hopefully you're on the leaderboard somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So we've Hopefully. filmed a few cars at the moment. We're starting to knock people off. So, yeah. But like we said, we don't expect a heat from this, but it's all, all in the name of science. What do you yeah, reckon? That's it. All right, so now we're going to find some rough stuff. I can see it right there. We'll sort out this cup on the bonnet. And basically you've got to go to 50 k's an hour and then brake again with your amazing speedo. Oh, you've got the your heads up. Yeah, we've got, we got the heads up. That's all right. Yeah, so you just go to 50 k's and then stop again and we'll just, where you stop, you stay there and we'll see how much water comes out. Super simple, yeah. super non-scientific as usual. Let's see what happens. Alrighty, comfort challenge. As usual, cup of water on the bonnet. Oh, you got a beer? <laughs> Our current man's an alcoholic, he's always got a beer on him. Just can't use a bit of beer to top her up, bud. You know I don't drink beer. Oh, I'll be <laughs> Alrighty, aim of the game as usual. Up to 50 k's. Because we're down at DI, we've got this kind of like, the fresh water comes out from underneath the dunes and it kind of gives it a bit of a cutaway. So there's a few brutal dips under there. We'll see how she goes, but I know some water's gonna come out of this for sure. And beer. Oh, the soot machine's back. 
Oh, bits come out. Oh, that, that was bad. There we go. I wonder if you made it to 50. He was cruising past, just like, arm out the window. What's up? <laughs> Super chill. Didn't look too brutal. Oh, I didn't look too bad. There we go. That, see, we've done a couple of beach runs before and it's it's definitely less hectic than being out in the bush where you got all your like ruts and all your <laughs> kind of gravel and big holes. That was kind of a smoothie run. So we've made it about 78%. Should we call it that? Five. What's between five and, and 80? Like 77 and a half? Well, we'll say 78. We'll give yeah, you a 78 half sounds point. better. Sounds better, doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> Alrighty, so last thing, we've got a flex challenge and then the economy. We are out of here, we'll see how this thing stacks up against the other uh, very much more expensive cars. Alrighty, so obviously we've got to come up with this a cunning plan to do the flex ramp challenge. Now this is a very famous log. A lot of photos on Instagram you would have seen of this thing down at Rainbow here. So he's flexed up this before and he reckons the front wheel kind of starts um, digging a little bit once he's up there, which means kind of at max flex. So. Hopefully it's just enough what we need. We can get a bit of a measurement. Like I said, not too scientific. Certificate, not too scientific. You get a certificate, participation award. Alrighty. I need that tape measure. Yeah, it's coming up now. That's about it. So, right there. So as we go from the hub as usual, I'm gonna get hell scientific here. I need like a little marky thing. I reckon that's about 575. Where's the stick? But how's my level on the stick though? Oh yeah, look at that. 560. 560. I gave him a bit of 75 before, but it's really 560. Alrighty, 560 mil, not too bad. For a, for a bloody leaf, that's good. We did have the one more challenge for the economy, but unfortunately, He's up bloody that way, I'm down this way. We couldn't meet up to do the fill up challenge and his speedo's not working, which means his odometer's not working. So I'm gonna take his word for it. He said he gets about, what, 350 Ks on a tank, 60 liters. Yeah, 450 high though. Yeah, so but around town, about yeah. two to 300. So yeah. give it about 350 average. Yeah, average is 350. We'll say that. 17 liters per 100, 17.1, we'll roll with that. So better without all the weight. But. Yeah, I mean, you get you can get it down about 15 on the highway, I reckon, yeah. but yeah, all right, 70 litres per 100, so we'll go with that because um, we couldn't actually test it specifically. But other than that, guys, let's check out the leaderboard and see how this thing's stacked up. All right, my notes are there because I, I can't read. My bloody eyesight's no good these days, I'll tell you what. All right, hello, guys, and welcome back to the Bendix Rig Rundown leaderboard. I'm just going to hold this, you know what? My memory's not been so great these days. Some unexpected results, but some expected ones as well. We're starting with the sprint challenge now. We weren't expected too much out of this one. We came in with an 8.63, didn't make it on the leaderboard. Probably could have guessed that one. Not the most powerful car I've had on this channel, we'll tell you that much. Um, the second challenge, obviously we had the comfort challenge with a 78%, which wasn't too bad. Put him in seventh position on the leaderboard and kicked off Matt from Explore 4x4. Sorry mate, maybe the new 79 will do better next time. Uh, then we went on with the flex challenge, which was pretty damn good for a leaf. We did a 560 millimeter run. Now that puts him in an amazing fifth place. Now we've kicked King's Customs Hilux, which is a similar build, it actually had coils, and we've booted him off the leaderboard, come in with the leafies to take the win. And then the final challenge, we had the uh, fuel economy with a 17.1, which is not too bad. Put him in fourth position and has kicked out Jared with his bloody thirsty 30, 30 liters per 100 GU patrol. So there we have it, guys, on the leaderboard. Now, you heard me at the start of this episode. We've got another giveaway from my friends at Bendix. Now, all we got to do is jump over. There's a link down below to the Bendix Instagram page. Find the photo of this Hilux that was featured in this rig rundown episode. Drop a comment, let the guys know what car you drive and what you thought of this week's episode, the Hilux in the photo. And then uh, I think tomorrow, a couple of days, the boys from Bennett's will be uh, announcing a winner at random to win a full brake upgrade package for their four wheel drive. So it's a pretty awesome prize, guys. Jump over, you gotta be in it to win it. There's nothing to lose here. And we'll see you guys in the next rig rundown episode. See you then. Sorry, I bloody set up my green screen wrong. I if I'm, if I'm too high, my head just gets chopped off, eh? Head, no head, head, no head. <laughs>
Guys, if you like this video, make sure to click up here to subscribe to the channel. Click over here for our latest merchandise on our website. And down below or to the side, I'm not sure where it is, is, is our last episode. If you haven't watched it, click on that to check it out. See you guys.